the Green Hills Butterfly Ranch. When you've had enough of those high-end adrenaline adventures, and you need a day off, you come here. Relax with Mother Nature. They claim to be a butterfly ranch, but there's so much more. But we'll go with the butterflies first. They are called the owl butterflies because you can see the eyes on like the two eyes. These butterflies are returning to the 4,000 square foot little house that they remain in, doing their job for Eric and his team, which is making more butterflies of their species so that they can be sent around the world to other places to be studied or put on display in their own butterfly houses, and to be simply enjoyed like we're doing today. That's one of the side benefits of having a butterfly ranch. Those little white dots on those leaves, those are eggs. They'll be collected. This little guy decided that salt on my hand was everything he needed. And those are more eggs. Another species. The place is just glorious. This is a glass wing. They have so few in captivity, they're kept separately. They're trying to build a population base so that they can do the same thing with them. But there's so few. They have a complete ecosystem in this little building. Butterflies are very picky. They only like certain plants to live and eat off of. After the guide has taken you around and told you how they do things and why they do things, you're free to sit in the little garden with the butterflies for as long as you want. But there's a whole nother side to this. There's the end where the eggs have been collected, gathered, and raised to the point where they can be shipped around the world. That's the second section of all of this. And that's where we're about to head. We have to go back through the butterfly lock and head outside. So I'm going to show you the whole process of the blue morph. Um, Irma explained to us how they did things. These eggs are hard, but if we try to collect them one by one, it will take a lot of time. So we'll just cut the leaf uh, with the egg. She took us through the entire life cycle of one of the butterfly runs and explained how cleanliness was one of the most important things. Keeping all of them fed with fresh plant life, and they only eat one thing, each one of them. They have several species at the ranch. Shrink. Really? You can see it's getting smaller. Mm -hmm. That's silk. At this stage so that they can ship them out to other places more eggs of different types caterpillars and then back back to where it all started so from here you can go back to the butterfly house or you can wander around the garden and look at all of the unusual foliage and plant life and then there's the hummingbirds when we were there i think eric said they had 14 varieties that were visiting them daily there are trails on the property where you can go and bird watch and listen to Mother Nature and just generally relax. You must leave the butterflies behind when you come out. The Green Hills Butterfly Ranch. Thanks, Eric. We had a great time. There'll be more of Barb's amazing stills of the hummingbirds in the next video. For now, you'll have to meet our new logo. Thanks for watching. Come back, share, subscribe, enjoy.